the people of France were happy. The National Assembly had succeeded in making France into a constitutional monarchy. However, having been stripped of almost all his powers, King Louis was not happy. He decided to launch a campaign with the help of Austria. As Queen Mary Antoinette was from the Austrian royal family, Louis was sure that if they were to reach Austria, they would be safe. So Louis and his family disguised themselves as peasants and headed off to Austria. Unfortunately, the revolutionists came to know of the plan. The king and queen were caught near the border of France before they could enter Austria. They were brought back to Paris. The people of Paris were enraged and now lost all faith in their royal family. The National Assembly decided to wage war on Austria. Lots of volunteers came to fight from the neighboring regions. Patriotic songs, such as the Marseillaise, were sung. Marseillaise was composed by Roger de la Isle and is now the national anthem of France. It was about during this time that Maximilien Robespierre came into the forefront of the revolution. A lawyer by profession, he was a strong orator and was the head of the Jacobin Club. The Jacobins included members from the lesser prosperous middle class. They considered themselves different. Jacobins were also called sans culottes, which meant those without knee breeches. They wore long striped trousers, similar to dock workers, and wore a red Phrygian cap that symbolized liberty. Meanwhile, the war was still going on with Austria. Prussia, too, entered the war as an ally to Austria. The expenses of the war raised the prices of food again. High prices and shortage of food angered the Parisians. On August 10, 1792, thousands of people stormed the palace of the Tourelles, where King Louis and his family were staying. All the king's guards were massacred, and the king just barely managed to escape. The National Assembly stripped King Louis of all his powers and imprisoned him and his family. On September 21, 1792, a new assembly called the Convention was formed, and France was declared a republic. Now that King Louis was imprisoned and that France was in the hands of the people, one would have expected that things would only get better. It got worse. The year immediately following the formation of the French Republic is referred to as the Reign of Terror. Hundreds died during this period. And they were all killed using the dreaded guillotine, a machine that was used for beheading people. The National Committee, now called the Convention and headed by Robespierre, felt that the best way to start the new republic was to execute the king. So they put King Louis on trial and found him guilty. He was allowed to spend his last moments with his family. On January 21st, 1793, King Louis was beheaded, his charge being the conspiracy against public liberty and the general safety. Marie Antoinette was also guillotined on October 16th of the same year. The monarchy was no more.